Hey guys, welcome back to Contest Prep University. I'm Joe Klimzeski with Adam Atkinson. We are in the fifth and final episode of the series on the language of peaking. And I had never heard this term until you used it, Adam. You use it quite a bit. And that is sodium flat. So we already talked about flatness versus fullness. But if somebody's at a contest or maybe even during the week uh, and they say, or you would interpret their pictures as them being a little bit sodium flat, how does that look in contrast to other types of flatness? Yeah, um, a lot of it involves just the whole context of the peak week. We've been watching photos and getting those check-in three times a day. Um, sodium flat becomes easier to describe with somebody that you're currently working with. Um, this likely wouldn't be something another coach would recognize and be able to you know, say your sodium flat without knowing the whole context of your prep. So a good example is um, I actually had a client in Canada a few years ago. Um, she got rushed to the venue. Her morning photos looked fantastic. We had been watching her carbs all week and we made no changes. We, we had done a linear load and we just knew we were going to be really stable into show day just in the context of the pictures she was sending. Um, when she got to the venue, she looked spilled over, which this was still before meal two. So the meals hadn't even been that large where she would potentially spill over. But she also had mentioned that uh, she felt like she was holding a lot of water in the midsection. And I personally noticed her delts just did not look as full, even as they did yesterday morning. And I said, you're sodium flat. What I want you to do is actually just pinch some salt right now. And within about 30 minutes and her getting a slight pump up, her midsection looked tighter, her shoulders looked fuller, and that's kind of how you fix sodium flat. But that's where that term comes from. Yeah, I, I agree. It, it is a sense of overall flatness but then the skin actually looks a little thicker too. And so uh, you, you're, you're probably going to benefit from having a little bit more sodium because at first, once it gets out of your digestive system, it's gonna hit your bloodstream and that's gonna pull water in. So along with some hydration, I remember one of the, the last shows I competed at, you know, I was kind of on that bubble. You know, I had been you know, looking you know, good and not so good meal to meal all day long. And then for the evening finals, um, you know, I just had that flatter, but a little bit softer look. And so I knew same thing, Adam, I just needed to bring a little bit more sodium, but at the same time hit some water. So I remember slamming, you know, two bottles of water, probably 32 ounces total, you know, right before pump up, I've got the sodium in. And then all of a sudden you just gradually see the muscle tissue getting fuller, 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 fuller. And it's getting fuller because you're drawing that water back into the, the muscle tissue as well as the vascular system. So at the same time you're getting fuller, you're getting tighter. Uh, but there is a line you can cross. And I wanna, I'm gonna give this warning. I have a friend of mine who's a pro competitor. He watches these, so he knows I'm talking directly to him. Uh, <laughs> he was eating something like seven to 9,000 grams of sodium a day. And even though he was lean, I just saw this filminess every day. I'm like, I know you can be tighter than that. It's going back to the word grainy. And I said, I really think you got to get your sodium back down to 4,000 milligrams or below. Like, uh, even though sodium is important, you, you can cross a line. I mean, you can still have too much. So he, he gradually peeled that sodium back down, sent me pictures just yesterday. And he's like, dude, thank you so much for telling me to do that. Look at the difference. You know, I've dropped three or four pounds in just a few days. Look how much tighter I am. And he's just, it's, it's just a night and day difference. So you need sodium to avoid that sodium flat, but you can also have that sodium kind of gooeyness where you're just, you're just holding too much. Yeah, and actually what happened with this client I was talking about, she did not season her show day food like she normally did throughout the week. She still had a little bit of bro science left in her from her right. old coach and just was like, I'm, I look great, but I'm going to maximize it by just not salting anything on show day. Everybody's always just that nervous, make them fall back into those, those old habits. Yeah, they really can. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, guys, we hope you enjoyed this series. Once again, brought to you by Adam's Creative Brain. So he's, he's, he's got his finger on the pulse of everything that you guys need. So thanks, uh, thanks for that, Adam, and uh, bringing up these great topics. And uh, hope that helps you guys in your contest journey. And we'll see you next time in Contest Prep University.